Hey friends, welcome to this relaxing Sunday. I don't have much to do today, just had a couple of goals in mind and decided to film them. So grab your coffee or get comfortable because this is a no rush relaxing Sunday clean with me. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. All of this filming took place just last Sunday and I had only two goals in mind. Start working on my master closet and pick one room that I just really really want clean for the start of the week and that was my kitchen. So those are the only two goals I had on this Sunday. I took it easy. I spent a lot of time doing this had a lot of interruptions which were completely fine took a lot of walks lots of cuddles so this is a very relaxing Sunday I bought all of these cubes at the dollar store obviously they were very cheap um, they are indeed very cheap if you fill them too full they will break and if you pull on the handles the handles will break off but I wanted something to organize shirts and um, basically starting on my husband's side of the closet it was kind of the worst off so don't pay any attention to the rest of the mess <laughs> we've got a lot to do here so let's get to it I'm starting this process out basically with his t-shirts. They were all up on the top rack and they span, well, literal decades. He's got shirts that he got in college and in the years that followed. So I decided to fold them all up and try to organize them into these containers and just make it look a little neater and a little easier for him to find whatever he might be looking for when he needs it. So that was the first task, which was um, just going through all of them, folding them up. I rolled them, it took up a little less space. Um, and you did see me talking there, but it's actually Miss Mercy who came into the bedroom to help mommy fold. I went through every single shirt that was hanging here and pulled off every casual t-shirt, anything that had a date on it, 
um, to organize in the bins um, by, not necessarily by date, but just, it was obvious that some of the shirts were nostalgic for him. So I, I wanted to make sure they were all in one place. He doesn't wear almost any of them anymore, but I wanted them to be easy for him to find if needed. So he had a lot of shirts hanging in the closet that he wasn't using or wearing. So I took them all out and folded them all up into those bins. Now it seems like a good time to introduce myself. My name is Erin and if you are new here, then welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. I am so grateful for this little community. I am a wife and a mom. My husband's name is Chris and in April we are celebrating five years. My daughters just had their birthdays. It was a crazy and fun week since their birthdays are just days apart. They're literally two years and four days <laughs> apart, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, they each got their own day. Um, kind of a funny story. We actually kind of had to fight for them to have their own day, but if you stay tuned, I'll tell you a little bit more about that without going into crazy details. It is kind of a funny story. At any rate, I'm just going to get right back into this um, and continue with organizing um, my husband's clothes. I will say that he went through all of it and actually got rid of some of his clothes, which I was really excited about. Um, a funny thing to be excited about what I was. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and let's get back to it. Hey there everybody. So I am very tired and I just need to quit for a while. My goal was to do pretty much half of this closet and I got pretty much half of it done. So basically what I was able to do is go through all of Chris's shirts and I pulled out everything that was, you know, like a graphic t-shirt or something that I don't know, was nostalgic for him and folded them up and put them into these. Now, these bins I got at the Dollar Tree. Now, I will warn you, they are super cheap. This one right here is already broke just from pulling on the handle. So, I do recommend them if you need a quick and cheap method of organization. I don't recommend them for long term. This was great to organize everything into a proper bin give everything a place and eventually I will cycle them into um, 
probably the Walmart brand because they're a little bit better put together and they last longer. In fact, I have several bins that you've probably seen in my living room that I use for toys. Those are all the Mainstays Walmart brand. They're fantastic, so I will probably get some more of those. But I needed some organization, so I went with those. And then I tried not to go overboard, but everything is definitely in some kind of order. His nicest suits are in the back, and then his winter, and then his his jerseys, because those are, those are important for game days. Uh, and then I have his nice short sleeve button ups, his nice polos, and then the rest of this is work, work shirts, nice shirts. So that's it for this closet for now. I, oh, another quick tip. So you probably saw, where did it go? There it is. My big suitcases down here. So I ended up putting all of our suitcases and double bags inside it. Perfect way to store them when we really don't need them. So that is what I did with that. That took care of two duffel bags and an extra small kid's suitcase. So another quick tip. If I have to pick one room that I want to start the week out with perfectly clean and spotless, it is definitely my kitchen. I don't know what it is about it, but no matter what time I get up in the morning, I just feel instantly motivated by a spotlessly clean kitchen. I love it. So I definitely have a Sunday goal to try to start the week with a clean kitchen. I did not film it, but I would also say that I love to meal plan on Sundays. Let me know in the comments if you like to do stuff like that on Sundays. Do you meal plan? Um, plan out the week. I find it extremely helpful to at least have an idea of what I'm going to cook for the week. started really enjoying cleaning on the weekend because um, my now one-year-old changes so quickly every day we've had a really hard time establishing a routine with her so on the weekend um, Chris is home to spend time with the girls and that is why this Sunday felt so good there was no rush it felt very relaxing even though I was cleaning Chris and the girls spent the day playing games, puzzles, going outside and playing, and I just got the opportunity to get some things done. I found these spray bottles at Publix and I really liked them. I bought two different color um, nozzles, and in the yellow one here, I am making my absolute favorite multi-purpose cleaner. Um, it's half rubbing alcohol, half water, a couple pumps of Dawn, and I am adding um, this fragrance, this essential oil. It just smells so good. I love this, especially on my counters. I do not recommend it on any wood surface. And then I buy the Mrs. Myers multi-surface concentrate and I decided to put it in this container instead of the old one because the nozzle broke on it. So, love these containers so far. They're, these spray bottles are perfect. I found them at Publix. All right, so let's talk just a minute about the girls' the girls' birthdays. So, um, what ended up happening <laughs> is when we went in for our first appointment for our second daughter, Freya, um, they told us that she would be due on, um, I believe they said the 18th. And since our first daughter was a um, C-section, we knew that they were going to deliver one week earlier. So at that appointment, we kind of joked about it and we're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't deliver on week 39 on the nose because that is Mercy's birthday 
and they just kind of laughed about it and were like, yeah, okay, all right. And so fast forward several months <laughs> and we go in for the appointment where they are, you know, it's time. They're setting it up with the hospital and they said, all right, well, we have you all scheduled to go. And I said, what? We didn't even talk about this yet. And they told me, yeah, it's scheduled right here. And of course it was Mercy's birthday. I said, no, <laughs> no, no, this wasn't a joke. I don't want to have the kids on the same day. And so they looked at me like I was insane. But um, they hummed and hawed and said, well, we'll go talk to the doctor about it. And I said, yes, please go do that and let me know um, ASAP. I would very much like that girls to have their own days, even if they're one or two days apart. I don't care as long as they have their own days. And sure enough, they came back and said that everything was fine. They they could schedule it another day and it worked out perfect. But I will not forget the look on the lady's face when I said, no, we definitely don't wanna do that. So I wasn't trying to be weird or anything. It just really became very important to me that the girls had their own days. Maybe that's strange, let me know in the comments. All right, it's finally time for me to tackle this window. This window used to be the window looking out into the backyard and then they added on the sunroom there and so now it's the window into the playroom. But because it's so hard for me to reach, it's often ignored. I managed to scrub it with one of my kitchen scrubbers and I used a squeegee, a shower squeegee, which I found at the dollar store to um, to, well, because I just can't reach it very well and it worked perfect. Finally winding down a little bit and getting these last few dishes put away overall. Just having a couple things done made this feel wonderful, actually. I just had to make dinner, and that was pretty much the end of our Sunday. We relaxed, we watched a movie as a family, and then we went right into our bedtime routine. So this is probably my favorite way to start a week, and that is to just have a nice clean kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this relaxing Sunday clean with me. And if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please think about subscribing. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later this week.